All right, y'all. We're going to Joe's Retro World. Today is part four of Can I Integrate my, play, my PlayStation 2 Slam into a CRT TV? All right, y'all. Check it out. It's been a month. I've been going through a lot to try to get this to work. And this is where I'm at. All right. So what I got here is the original PlayStation 2 composite with uh, left and right audio you know, cable coming out. It has a composite you know, the yellow, white, and red. And so what I did was I went ahead and just cut it and split it back and then soldered it directly underneath to the motherboard right here of the CRT TV. And in order to get access to make it more roomy to where I'd be able to fit the PlayStation 2, I went ahead and removed all the DVD guts and drive. It stopped working anyways. It, it wasn't reading, so... This is why I chose it to to be the TV to integrate my PlayStation 2 into. And plus, if you remember it, it just looks awesome. So let me set it right here. Show you what this little TV looks like. Yeah, this is a beautiful just little 9-inch beast with a DVD player. And it still works right here. The little flap still opens up. So I'm trying to think of what I'm going to do this way. But I cut the ports out right here for the controller 1 and memory card. And then controller 2, memory card 2. Of course, you know, y'all seen the last time I already had the PlayStation symbol integrated. So what I'm going to have to do is I'm going to have to find a space somewhere in the front to fit my Bluetooth adapter. This is my little USB. I mean Bluetooth. This is my USB cable. And this is where you play the games off of a USB stick. And so this is a little USB extender cable. This needs to be somewhere on the front of the TV. I'm going to have to cut a hole or make it to where it pops out right here. I don't know. I really don't want it cheap looking like this. I would rather have it hard integrated. Maybe inside here somewhere. I do not know yet. I'll figure that out once uh, I get there. You know, we'll, we'll cross that bridge. So for now, I have my PlayStation 2. Of course, with the memory card and controller ports. Extended, working perfectly. Okay. So both don't do right. Yeah, I know one is really short compared to the other one. But um, I'm just, this is just temporarily. I'm, I'm going to change this around. Now, the other issue I was having was to extend my power button. So I ordered four of these long ribbons from eBay, and I thought I could solder them together to make it almost a foot long of a power cord ribbon. <laughs> and this is the failed experiment right over here. This is where I was trying to integrate these cables. So I ordered four of these little ribbons you know, I was going to solder on them together to make a really long power cable because this is the original power button on the PlayStation 2. And for it to look like a factory PS2 into a TV, I have to integrate the power button somewhere on the outside so you can turn it off and on easily. So yeah, I tried to buy $20 worth of ribbons. And unfortunately, I, I jacked up two, so I just destroyed two of them $10 worth. And I got two left. And so, yeah, I just went ahead and plugged it up. And it works. So it's nice and long. This is long enough. The way this is going to sit, it's going to sit most likely just straight in here. Okay. Now, when, I, when it's in here, it's not going to have this black bottom. It's going to have the wires are actually going to be sticking out through the bottom right here, coming out. So they'll be laid right here. This will be further all the way back like this. It'll be mounted to these screw holes right here. Secured just like this to where it won't move. The wires will be here and uh, they'll be all tucked out of the way to where all you see is the controller ports and the Bluetooth possibly here. And Bluetooth, I don't know why I keep saying Bluetooth, it's the USB 
uh, extended port maybe right here coming out I don't know yet but we'll, we'll, we'll figure that out <coughs> sorry excuse me. as you can see though they'll, they'll, they'll be just like that y'all it'll be just so awesome really really awesome let me hold it in place so you can get a good idea of what I'm I want it to look like This is my retro bit PlayStation 2 controller, wireless adapter, dongle, you know, and then my uh, original PlayStation 2 memory card. And so these would be like this, glued in place, where I'll be able to still swap out memory cards if I want, okay, if they run out of memory. And it'll look factory, you know, have the PlayStation 1 here and two here controller port okay they'll be glued there on either side now let me show you how I soldered in the AV cable down here <clears throat> yeah you can see clearly alright so this is the original like I said PlayStation 2 composite cable and right here in the front is the inputs for your composite input here left and right audio stereo audio so all I did was this I just removed these two screws I'm gonna turn my soldering gun on because I wanna do some soldering a little bit and show y'all I'm gonna integrate the power button I mean the power cord. All right, let me position this better. So the cable just fed through the bottom, through that hole. And it was the existing hole. It was really made it really, really nice. And as you can see, I have it soldered to the board there. And I just used my multimeter just to make sure that the conductivity was correct. And then I wasn't soldering it to, sorry, parts on my board that did not make no sense. And all you have to do is get your multimeter, set it to conductivity, and probe. So I went in here, touched the inside, and tried to find the other point. So I knew that I was only soldering to the inside, not to the ground. This is the ground. As you can see, it's basically each one has its own ground and its own positive. So just go like this and then solder your points. And that's the way I did that for the audio video feed so that it looks directly factory, you know, plugged up. There's the end cable, factory PlayStation 2 cord. Now down over here on this other end of the board, this is where I'm going to be soldering the power supply. Let me set this camera up better. So I want to show you where I'm going to be soldering the power supply for our PlayStation 2. Now, uh oh, sorry about that. You know that you got to use a 8.5 volt, you know, Sony original jack or or a cheap Chinese knockoff, but it's best if you find the original one. You don't have to worry about any issues later in life. But yeah, this is my original one. It does have the original, you know, cord uh, the input for these PlayStation 2 Slim. But over here, all you got to do is you can basically buy this part anywhere for five bucks from Amazon, Walmart, anywhere. And now this is the part that I'm going to have to cut back. And I'm going to solder it directly to right here. To integrate it right here on the bottom of the board so I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna leave it about how about foot and a half that'll be enough to position anywhere so we're gonna cut the cord all right so this is the little piece that I need 
right here. This is all I need because this is going to be tucked inside somewhere of this TV. So it doesn't need to be super huge. So we're going to go ahead and trim it back. Now that I got it peeled back, you can see it has a white wire and a black wire. So it makes it very easy as to where you're going to connect this to. So let me just turn this on the side. I'm going to go ahead and I'm just going to take off just this much. I don't need very, very much to be soldered to that bottom of that point. So let's cut off a little bit of that. Now to do this properly, once you have your wires peeled, go ahead and coat them in some good old soldering flux. All right. Just like that. Now they got a good coat of flux. Go ahead and tap them with your soldering iron. Let me see. Is she hot enough? She should be. No. Oh, let me test it out. All right. She was being stubborn. Got a little good glob of solder on the tip. I'm going to go ahead and coat these cables. Just like this. And what this does is, this gives a good foundation for when I go to solder it to the motherboard. So let's turn this motherboard over on this side. And we're going to solder these points to the bottom there. Okay. I went ahead and used my little flush cutters here to cut out a little chunk of the plastic so that when I solder these wires to the bottom... When I go to close it off like this, they'll be able to stick out from right here, just like that. So let me show you how that's going to look. This top one is the white connector, and this bottom one is the negative. So we're going to put some fresh, no clean flux. Okay, this is different from the other flux. And now I'm going to stick my wire through here I'm gonna hold it just like this and I'm gonna get my oh where's my my solder there's plenty of solder on there y'all but you want some fresh solder okay put it through there hold it No, I don't gotta do this right, y'all. I can't, I can't get it right. Oh, hold on. <laughs> that is the ugliest wells I've ever done. I will have to add more solder just to secure it properly. Hold on. All right, there it goes. That's better. All right. Clean the, the solder. <laughs> All right, yo, it wasn't the purity soldered, but they are soldered on there, so now it's time to test them. So of course I plugged up directly to this. So when you plug 
the TV up to the wall, it's powering this cord too. So technically, I should be able to go ahead and plug up just like this and find. Oh. Oh, I don't have it right. <laughs> There, sorry. Had it on the wrong setting. So, yeah, let's plug it back up. Boom. And it should only work for one side if I did it correct. So, nice. So, I braced them perfectly. So, I can do this right here. I can go down here, plug up to here, and test to see. Boom. Beautiful working like it's supposed to awesome so now I have an integrated power circuit for my PlayStation 2 power brick and a separate one going over here for the TV line but I cut that notch out back here and you can see how it comes out just perfect now so this wire will be able to run up just like this and they won't disturb nothing. It'll it'll fit flush in the back just like the other things are. So yeah, I like that. And then I put this screw back over here. And that holds the motherboard secure now. Alrighty, y'all. So until the next time, hopefully, I should have it all put back together with the PlayStation 2 sitting in here the controller ports everything the USB adapter stick everything all hooked up so yeah wish me luck hopefully the next video it'll be a perfect done integrated PlayStation 2 to CRT TV I hope some of these things that I'm showing you helps you out and go out there and do your own little project just like I am, and have, have fun with it, learn, alright, till next time, peace and much love from Joe's Retro World.